As a programmer, I really appreciate the fact that CPM uh, defines a number of standard console control characters to uh, control how the uh, user interacts with the line, uh, the line editor. So that if we take an input, there's a standard way of um, uh, clearing the line, deleting the line, deleting characters. And uh, this video will show a little bit about uh, how CPM does that and uh, what to expect. Because these uh, control characters are supported by the BDOS uh, calls, uh, they'll work at the command line or in, uh, in programs that use those BDOS calls to interact uh, with the console. So I'll use the head editor to demonstrate a couple of the, uh, couple of the control characters. So if I create a file, um, called hello, and then I can insert a line. And if I type some text, and I then want to delete, uh, so if I use the uh, control H, which is the standard key for deleting, and there we are, we can see it's deleted. And if I put that back in, Now this time I'm going to use the backspace key and you'll see that what it actually does, it prints the character that it's deleted. So it has deleted it, but it's printing the character that's deleted. So that makes it a little bit confusing. But if I press the Control R command, and there we are, it shows exactly what the line now looks like after it's deleted. Now this was mainly used because on a um, a, uh, a hard copy terminal, then naturally you can't actually delete a character that's already been printed. So this was the next best way of overcoming that. And um, and then if we want to delete the whole line, we can press one of two things. We can press either Control X, which will delete the line altogether, or if I put that line back in, if I press Control U. It displays the line still, but it moves to the next line, allows me to re-enter it. So that's quite handy if uh, I want to alter something, but I need to remember what was in that line. So this allows me to do that quite easily. And then other commands that we have, uh, well, Control uh, J acts as a return acts as a line feed, sorry, and then um, control M acts as a proper return, as we would normally think of it. So I can press control M, and there we are. And uh, if, uh, if I wanted to enter a tab, I would press control I, and there we are. We can see it has moved uh, eight spaces. And this is important, this actually goes to a tab stop as opposed to um, just adding eight spaces. So if I put this is and then control I, you can see it's just moved to the next place. Now I'll press another tab and we go to, to there. And if I go to the next line, and put some more text. And I press the tab stop, you can see it jumps to the next tab stop as opposed to just jumping eight spaces. So uh, that's all very good. And uh, is there anything else? Uh, oh yes, the control E function is an interesting one. So if I and then press control E, Oh, yes, I remember now, this isn't actually supported by Ed. Right, we'll ignore that. So we'll press Control X, we'll quit. We'll quit Ed, and then we'll try the, uh, the Control E line again. So, um, echo, and then press Control E, and then press ASM.
And what it does, it allows me to continue a line on the next line. So this is really good if you've run out of room on your physical um, your physical display line, but want to continue a longer logical line. So I put type echo, control E, dot asm, and now if I, there we are, press return, it has showed me, uh, it has used the uh, type echo dot asm. I can demonstrate that better if I do that again by doing type echo, control E, dot asm, and then press control R, and it displays the whole line again. So uh, we can see properly what's happened. If we're displaying some text, then we can also pause the scrolling. So uh, if I go back to my echo.asm and I type that, then we can see it flies up the screen much too quickly to read. But if we do that again, and this time use control S, then we can pause it. And we press S again, control S again to unpause it, and control S. Uh, to pause again, so we can go back and forth to pause and then pause as we go through the file. There is a small change between CPM 2.2 and CPM 3, in that in CPM 2.2, uh, Control S starts and stops the scrolling, and uh, under 3, you use Control Q to uh, restart the scrolling. And the other useful thing is that if you are if you have stopped the scrolling with Control S, you can use Control C to uh, to exit to terminate the program. And Control C is a generic way of ter terminating any program, uh, assuming it's using the BDOS call at that point. To prove that this is um, the BDOS call that is supporting this, as opposed to the work of the programmer, uh, I've written a quick program called echo.asm, uh, which the source code is on the accompanying article on the Tech Tinkering website. So if we have a look at that file, and there we are. So uh, I won't go through this in any detail, but I just want to show that the handling of the, uh, the control characters is uh, for, for the line editing is done in one place, and that's here. Uh, so in near the middle of the screen, we can see CI message. So it's um, a function to input a console, a console message into the buffer. And then if we look uh, near the bottom of that, we can see where we're calling the BDOS function to, um, so it says me, uh, MVI, C, comma, RBUF, and then call BDOS. And that, that in itself, is uh, handling the, um, is calling the BDOS function to read uh, from the console uh, as a line. And, uh, and the rest of the code above and below it is just to make sure that it goes into uh, a, a nice buffer with a, uh, a proper zero at the end of it so that it makes it easy to display. Uh, but other than that, if I run the program, if I compile it, Just as a bit of proof. And then we'll run the program. And I'm going to do some editing. So uh, what should we do? So I use my control E because uh, I wasn't able to prove that in Ed, because uh, for some reason it takes over the uh, control E function. So there we are, I, I type this is, control E, space, some text, and then if I press control R, it'll display it as the whole line, and if I press enter, and there we are, it's entered it. So, uh, and I can press control C to exit the program, because the BDOS function, function is waiting for that. So uh, that demonstrates it quite nicely. The other, uh, the other uh, thing I want to demonstrate is the control S to stop scrolling. So I've written another program for that, which I'll also show. So a nice simple program, one page of text. Uh, all it does is just 
alternate zero or one characters on the display and it will continue displaying those until you exit the program with a control C to restart or warm boot the system. Um, control C by the way, the, the warm booting is useful on CPM 2.2 as it resets the disk system which is important on 2.2 because you need to do this after changing a disk at, to allow you to write to it without corrupting the disk. So uh, definitely something to remember on 2.2 systems. Uh, in any case, so this program uh, just caused the BDOS routine twice, once with zero, once with a one, and then jumps back to the start and continues the loop. So we'll uh, run that program as well. There we are, alternating zeros and ones, zeros and ones. Control S to stop it. Control S again to start it. And then we'll quit out. I've paused it with Control S. We'll do Control C. And there we are, back to the prompt. So, um, so it demonstrates it nice and clearly. And there's little doubt that that's been handled by the BDOS function. Well, that's it for the CPM 2.2 control characters. Uh, there's also a follow-up video uh, for CPM3 line editing control characters because the uh, the addition uh, one of the nice additions to CPM3 is the ability to edit lines uh, if you had a banked uh, a banked system so um, have a look at that video as well and uh, have a look at the accompanying article which goes into a little bit more detail about the uh, control characters and includes the source code for the two programs that I ran and subscribe to the Tech Tinkering YouTube channel and have a look at the uh, Tech Tinkering website.